Southern California Edison is committed to the safe storage of spent nuclear fuel at San Onofre. When SCE retired songs in 2013, the decision was made to begin prompt decommissioning of the site, removing all the nuclear fuel remaining in wet storage in pools to dry storage. SCE began the process to identify a vendor to provide the dry fuel storage system that would house the remaining spent nuclear fuel on site. In 2014, SCE chose Holtec's UMAX system, which was determined to provide excellent safety features and robust shielding from radiation. SCE began constructing the system in 2016 on the site of the partially decommissioned Unit 1 reactor. The site was excavated and the System Support Foundation, a three-foot-thick reinforced concrete pad, was constructed directly on compacted native soil and engineered fill. Next, the three-quarter inch thick stainless steel cavity enclosure containers were placed. Then, the dense concrete was poured to surround the CECs, creating a concrete monolith. Finally, the entire structure was topped with a two-foot thick reinforced concrete pad. The Holtec UMAX spent nuclear fuel dry storage system now holds 73 canisters of spent nuclear fuel. So what exactly is spent nuclear fuel? The spent nuclear fuel is a solid. It's not like a, a green goo like you've seen on The Simpsons. It's actually in a ceramic form like this pellet here. And then the pellets are stacked into a fuel rod. And then we take an array of fuel rods and put them together into what we call a fuel assembly. Each fuel assembly is about 15 feet tall, otherwise it's the same as what you see here. And each canister will hold up to 37 fuel assemblies. The canisters are welded closed after being filled with inert helium gas, which helps with cooling the fuel and provides a non-oxidizing environment. The fuel is undergoing radioactive decay, which produces a small amount of heat. The hottest fuel assembly at San Onofre gives off as much heat as a standard hair dryer. Because of the radiation shielding provided by the system, dosimetry is not required when walking near the storage modules. So that was one of the benefits we saw, a system that provides excellent radiation shielding. As you can see from this area radiation monitor, which is reading about 14 microrem per hour, which is just a little bit above background, and background being the radiation you receive just from the sun and the earth. The purpose of a dry fuel storage system is to provide a confinement barrier for the nuclear material and protect the health and safety of employees and the public. The UMAX system provides excellent physical protection against earthquakes, tsunamis, or terrorist attacks. The system is designed to withstand 1.5 Gs of seismic motion, more than twice the plant rating. The system can be submerged under 125 feet of water and still perform its safety functions. And it's partially below grade, with each module topped by a 35,000 pound steel and concrete lid. Some of the specific enhancements SCE sought will protect against something else present at San Onofre, a marine environment. We are near the ocean. So we look very hard at the risk of chloride-induced stress corrosion cracking. This is a slow occurring phenomenon, but nonetheless, we asked the equipment vendor, Holtec, to look at ways to reduce the risk of chloride-induced stress corrosion cracking. We asked for canisters that were 5 8 inch thick, providing additional corrosion allowance for an extended service life. Most canisters in use across the country are half inch. We asked for 316L stainless steel, which is more corrosion resistant than the 304 stainless steel that is typically used in the industry. And this is important. Stress corrosion cracking only occurs around welds in what are called heat affected zones. So we asked for a process called laser peening of the welds, which essentially eliminates the potential for stress corrosion cracking. Southern California Edison also listened to the community when it came to ensuring the safe storage of spent nuclear fuel. SCE installed a continuous ISFACI radiation monitoring system that sends data directly to three off-site agencies. The California Department of Public Health publishes the reports each month. This is in addition to the monitoring SCE already does for the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. 
SCE also developed an inspection and maintenance program that goes far beyond any NRC requirements. This industry-leading effort uses robotics to inspect canisters for precursors to degradation. If found, a second robot can apply a metallic overlay to mitigate the defect. In nearly 35 years of canister-based dry storage, there has never been a canister failure. Dry storage canisters in the U.S. have a zero failure rate. The dry storage systems provide excellent protection for the fuel for long-term storage. And when I say long-term, I mean 100 years or longer. The federal government was to begin accepting spent fuel from nuclear plants such as Song's in 1998. Since that didn't happen, temporary on-site storage locations became necessary. SCE and other sites responded by building some of the safest structures in the U.S. to ensure the health and safety of our communities for the long term. SCE continues to advocate for the federal government to fulfill its legal obligations and remove the spent fuel from San Onofre. Until then, SCE is committed to storing the fuel safely.